three best practices you did not know about Microsoft to do. That is what this video is about. I'm Paul Kuisens and help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you know everything to be more productive with to do so let's jump into it and today we start off with outlook as you can see i'm uh, already been busy a bit in outlook lots of security mails so that's uh, very interesting of course this is a demo environment so that's why you see this but first of all i work in outlook on the web i like it better than the client but some uh, items are not available in the client or are only available in the new Outlook client. So that's something you need to know about uh, before we start off. But let's uh, look at it. First of all, uh, you already see it, but I have here my to-do that are my daily tasks. Now I want to add this item to to-do. I can do this. And that's the first one, drag and drop directly into to-do. So now I have uh, added this to Microsoft to-do. And if we go to uh, to-do self, one thing you need to know is that I added a category here. So now we can go to uh, to do self and here we can see that there are tasks uh, planned in this case uh, uh, we have um, the uh, pim and the mail i just added and you directly see that here is the uh, email and i see it didn't check the the categories but here we can set the security category as well again and this makes it easy because when i want to uh, go and search i can directly search that's number two i can directly search for a category so i can do security and you directly see that this category is coming up so this makes it easy to search your tasks. So that's number two. Number three is the my day. And I'm going to go further than three. Uh, so that's something you need to know. But the my day displays all the tasks that have a due date for today. So that's really uh, something that is important about this. By the way, if you like this video, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and share this video with everyone uh, you know. Well, if I don't want it to have it today, I can move this uh, icon, I can uh, remove the date, but I can also say, okay, it's going to be tomorrow. And as you can see, uh, it's now off my list of to-dos today. Further on, I see an importance one and if, for example, I say this is important, it will show you directly that it's important. But now back to Outlook and I'm going to go to my agenda. And here I also have my to-dos. So what I can do, and it's already displaying, most people notice that this is possible. You can drag an item on the to-do. But this time I'm going to show you something else because what you can do is you can right click on it and you can say block a time. And what this does, you can select people you work with for this item, but you can also select a date and a time. So here we go, I will select eight. Uh, half an hour i will invite debbie for this and I, it's also a teams meeting that's really nice because i want that uh, directly to it and i can even add a description so in this case i'm going to say hey we have to look at the pim uh, reports so then i can say okay send and as you can see it is directly scheduled in my calendar so this is really powerful uh, and has a lot of more options than just drop and drag now one thing i want to show you more is if we go back to to do i'm going to close this then you have a new list now in my case, I work a lot with Planner uh, in Microsoft Teams, which we have here. 
but sometimes I just have only to do's and I want to share, uh, for example, a grocery list uh, with my girlfriend and I can do this by clicking on new list. Here I will say um, surf uh, trips. I'm going, to, I'm a surfer, so that's why I'm using this. As you can see, we can say, okay, uh, going to Arifana. Uh, Sagres, uh, there are a few spots I want to go to and I want to go here before um, the end of the month, uh, something like that. Now this is still a private list, but here we have the share button and if I share it, I can create an invitation link and uh, people in my organization can use this link. So I copy the link and I share it with Debbie. So here we go. I will have to switch profiles here because Debbie is in a different profile. And uh, meanwhile, I'm a really interesting if you are using to do already, or if you are using planner, for example, I'm going to join the list in the meanwhile. And here we go. Now I can make a task. I'm making this in Debbie, her profile, so you don't see it. But now when I've created it, you see that uh, there's a new one added to this list. So Debbie created this one. So in this case, you can collaborate on a to-do list without going to a planner and creating a group, etc., etc. So these are uh, some of my best practices of the to-do app. I'm really curious if you use them on a daily basis, what your uh, best practice is in to do let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching and see you next time